Hey, what's up everyone? Mark Kreitz here at devslopes.com and I'm super excited about this section. We are actually going to build our own database that actually talks, uh, communicates with our API and then we're going to make requests to it. So this is not dissimilar to what you might actually do on a, a real professional app that you would release to the public. So we'll configure the database, we'll get it, we'll install Mongoose and work with that package that helps us talk to the database through our code, and we'll set up our node and have a fully functional API and database that technically you could connect a web app to, a front end web app, a mobile app, iOS or Android, or any other type of client. Uh, so really cool stuff here, and uh, it's my belief that this is what really starts separating the developers um, or get some standing out of the crowd so they can get the jobs. It's one thing to know front end development, whether it's iOS and Android or uh, web development, but then it's a whole other thing to be able to build the back end as well to the data that you need to supply uh, to those clients. And if you can know both things, you're in a great position to get a job or build your entire app or product uh, for your own startup. So let's just get started and do all this cool stuff. I'm gonna open up brackets. And what we're gonna do is on my desktop here, we're going to create a folder here. We're going to call this uh, Swag Shop API. Swag Shop API. And what I'm going to do is go to File, Open Folder in brackets on my desktop. And we are going to find Swag Shop API. Look at all the junk on my desktop. You know, they say people that have cluttered desktops and desks are actually closer to genius than those who feel the need to organize everything. So if you're like me and have a dirty desktop, you're probably a genius just like me. Okay, so what we want to do here is uh, create a new file. So let's go to right click and go to new file. And we're going to call this server.js for our main server file. The first thing we're going to do is get node up and running and get our packages ready to go. And so we're going to need a few things. So let's go to our terminal. We're going to cd into the desktop and cd into the swag shop. That's the name of the API that we're building here. It's basically a it's a store, uh, a storefront that holds uh, cool swag items that we'd like to wish list or later buy. You know, so you're on the internet and you find cool stuff and you can wish list it, things like that. And so swag shop API, let me just bigger for you here. And uh, let's make sure we're in the right directory, which we are. So first things first is we want to do uh, we want to do an npm init so we can say this directory is ready to be used with uh, Node or the Node Package Manager. <laughs> Clear that there, and so let's do npm init. I'm just going to press enter. I don't want to enter any of that stuff now. Yes. Okay. So we know that we're going to need a few packages in order to work with node so npm install dash dash save we're going to need the body parser npm install dash dash save and we're going to do the uh, express okay and we can also do uh, mongoose as well we're going to need that so we can do uh, multi-line just like so it's going to install both of them mongoose again is the framework that will let our app our code talk to the Mongo database, okay? And so if we go look at our package.json that's now been created here, we've got three dependencies, which is good. And I think we're ready to get started for now. So let's go into our server.js and let's write some code. Okay, first things first, we need to uh, create our express server. So express equals require express, okay? Uh, and of course, if you haven't worked with Node before, um, you're going to need to learn that first uh, because um, in order to work, probably work with Mongoose or Mongoose and Mongo uh, for your web apps in Node, you got to know Node. So make sure you watch those videos. And so there's our Express. Let's create our app. Var app equals Express. Okay. Let's get our body parser up and running. Var body parser equals require body parser. When you start building a lot of apps, uh, what I like to do is actually create a skeleton project that has these base things in it and then upload it to GitHub so I can just quickly clone it and start from there. Um, but repetition is important for learning, so that's why we're doing this uh, like we are. So there's our body parser. Let's go ahead and get mongoose uh, in here. Var mongoose equals require mongoose. Okay, we're, we know we're going to need that, all right? And then uh, let's get our body parser in place in the middleware, app.use. Body parser.json. Okay. 
app.use body parser dot url encoded extended equals false you know we've done that before as well too uh, and then i suppose the last thing to do is actually just get our server running so app dot listen we'll do port 3000 function it's the callback when it's done loading and we're going to say console dot log we'll say swag shop api running at on port 3000 dot 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 okay let's save this and let's go to our terminal and make sure it's just running so we're going to use node mon node mon uh, so it detects our changes server.js swag shop api running on port 3000 that's fantastic so we're definitely running which is really cool all right so We've got our basic node app going here. And I think the next thing we want to do is actually connect to a database. And remember that with Mongo, you don't have to pre-create the database in order to have one. You just need to say, this is the database name. And once you start saving things to it, a data will be stored in it. Okay, so up here, let's create our database var db equals mongoose.connect. And it's a special URL, so mongodb slash slash localhost because ours is running on a local host whenever we run that mongod command it runs that server and so this is the local host and the name of the database which is swag shop but of course we don't we don't have that database yet but it'll figure all that out for us now if I run this I should expect this not to work so let's uh well it did it did detect the changes I'm not maybe I didn't save it here all right Oops, wrong thing. Terminal, thank you. Okay, it is working, um, which means that my database is likely, um, I likely have it running somewhere. Uh, so let's let's turn it all off. So uh, one, here's a quick cool uh, tip that you can learn. Whenever you wanna kill all your databases, you can type in kill all mongod uh, at least this is on mac um on powershell i i'm not sure what you might do um i'll get back to you on that so kill all mongod uh, kills all the processes and so what we want to do in order for this to actually work is we need to have our server running so mongod okay perfect now it's running and so let's open up this new tab here and then let's run the node mon server.js oh and uh, so I'm, I'm using something on my computer, and this is good for you to know. Um, I'm using something called the Node Version Manager. I have some apps that require different versions of Node, like a blog tool or even the, the DevSlopes API uh, requires a certain version of Node. And so right now we're, we're just using a global version, uh, which is fine. Um, but I, I use the Node Version Manager, which you have to install, which allows me to pick which version I want to use for which project. Uh, it's not important for, for new, uh, new people and beginners, um, but I'll show you anyway. So... You know, I use NVM uh, and then use 4.2.4. That's a different version of Node. And so I got to turn it on for my terminal here. And then that will allow me to run NodeMon and then server.js. Okay. If you want to learn more about the Node version manager, let me just uh, get you a link here. So Node version manager. And uh, it's an open source library here. And... Uh, it gives you instructions on how to install it and lets you um, run multiple versions of Node on the same computer, pick and choose, which is really nice. Uh, cool. So we're up and running. And so how do we verify that we're up and running? Well, let's just go into our, our Mongo shell in a new tab and make sure that we can get in. Show DBS. Uh, perfect. So we're there. Obviously, our database isn't there, and it's not there because we haven't inserted anything into it yet. So that's okay, though. So we're good. Cool. So we're going to call this video done. What we've done so far is we've just set up a skeleton project for Node. Uh, and we've also brought in Mongoose, which is the framework that allows us to talk to our database. We've now connected to a database right here, a MongoDB localhost. You've got to have that MongoD uh, server running in order for this to work. Okay. And then we've just done some boilerplate stuff here. So I think that's a great starting point. Let's go ahead and call this video done and move on and forward. Mark Price at devslopes.com. <laughs>